All right, get me to put the top in on it. I guess I should check my cam timing. Check my split overlap here. It looks pretty close to top dead center, doesn't it? Yeah, this split overlaps even right there, but we're off a few degrees. The center of the motor is actually over here, about 10 degrees off. But it's because the cams are probably advanced a little bit. Who knows? Yeah, it's not quite dead center, is it? It's off. But I know those marks around when I put them on, but it's way over here is the actual overlap. It is actually kind of concerning because it's way back there and it shouldn't be there. It should be up here. It's, it's off a lot. Yeah. It's all the way down. It's hard to tell there's so much lift. Yeah, they're both moving so much it's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know. I remember the marks are good. Got to be close. All right, I'm going to put a piston on this thing. I thought I was just lost my clips, but they're both here. Kind of need those, need those. Check this stuff here, didn't get cleaned up too much yet. Need a wrist pin. Nut. Lots of extra parts in the way here. Three nuts. Takes four. Got four washers. Three nuts. Oh, there's the other one. Four nuts. That's good. That's how many we need. All right. Trying to put that thing together like we know what we're doing around here. Okay. Guess we should clean the cylinder a little bit. Cleaned it once before, but I need to clean it again. If my hand comes off brown or black, I know it's not clean. Maybe a little dirty. Yeah. And clean rag out, hoist around the dead ground. Okay, we got our clean rag here. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, it's clean. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Perfect. Maybe we should get a cleaner rag. Let's see. What do we got over here? There's a clean rag. How's that? Is that clean? Does that look clean to you? There you go. Nice and clean. Hot off the press. My good cylinder. It's my only cylinder. <laughs> Screw this one up too bad. I'll have to make some more. This one's got some issues, but it still works. All right. Nice and clean now. I got the shiny it is in there. Make 
Okay, we need a spacer plate. Yeah, we have a gasket. It's my gasket. Aluminum. Aluminum gasket. You know what everybody uses? Knock off any gasket goopus on it. Not much coming off. Looks clean. Run it. Okay, there's my gasket. Make sure I get that up so it doesn't leak. Enough leaks already today. All right, I'll put that rag up there. And the hardware, good place for it. Another broken nail, good. Uh, rag, right there. Okay, these rings are good last time I ran, so they should still be good. I'm gonna rerun them. This is good too, because that's all I got. Well, where the other one's at? Okay, the intake and exhaust. When you put the piston wrong, it hits the, hits the intake hits. Don't do that backwards. Not that I've ever done that, of course. I guess technically that might be a hot spot right there, right? If I knock the burrs off. Good as new. Nice yellow coating, looks like it belongs there. Ooh. We got a valve impact mark right there. Yeah, somebody put the piston backwards one day. Nobody's admitting to who did that, though. But I'm pretty much sure how it works on it. <laughs> so I don't know if it was me or somebody else. There you go. Good as new. Detailed. Wire clips. <clears throat> See intakes on this side, so I'm gonna to put together on this side, I guess, because we're on the side of the bike. Now remember, don't let this thing fling into that open motor over there. <clears throat> Probably should do something like this, just in case. You know, something like that, just to be safe, of course. All right, where's the clip at? Yeah, the clips in there far enough. Use the pin. Pop, she's in. Yep. Feels good to me. You good with that? I'm good with that. It's in there. The battery's already dead again. Damn, that battery ain't holding up this clock. Okay. This thing's almost ready to go together. Almost. Not quite. It's getting there though. This is just a stock off the bar shell uh, Wisco piston. Nothing's been done to it except I cut the valve pocket. I ground it right there just a little bit for valve clearance because it was hitting. Evidently, my valve likes to piston a lot. All right, that's done. Got it for that. Oh, we might need that still. Get that out. Okay, what else are we doing? Let's see. Should put some lube on the studs here.
Yeah, they're lubed up. Okay, pistol. Where the rings at? Yeah, one ring's there. Where's the other one? The other one's over there. The oil ring's somewhere else. We don't care where the oil ring is. All right. Intake goes on the intake side. Yeah, that's the intake side, I think. Yeah. If not, we'll turn it. Where's my gap? This one's in. A little bit too deep. Mm. Not enough yet. Don't go too far. Yeah, that thing goes right up there, doesn't it? Alright, that's close enough. Let's just go sideways. Let's see, which pie is which? Where am I at now? It's upside down. Intake is on the intake. That's good. Pull that out. Gasket goop. Cylinder done. Oh, you can't see much at all when you're doing the cylinders, can you? The camera guy sucks around here. Okay, put a little sealer on your gasket. Don't want it to be dry. Gaskets on. First pin. Gonna drop down again. This side. All right. Valve well, release in the right direction. around here. Jeez. Way too much effort for no reason. Way too much effort. Put the clip in the hole there. Put the 
these in. Put oil on there. Got. Remember, you got open hole there, so don't drop in and down the hole. Could be a problem. Damn, my arm doesn't bend around that way anymore. The wire wasn't in there. Good harbor goes down easy. <clears throat> About the right torque. See if it runs. Get the crank going here, see if it starts up. It's pretty easy. There's a lifters out. We're on overlap. Pression stroke. Top dead center. There we go. Nice and free. Not much drag on this motor. And I got the first break in miles on. That's why I left the primary cover off so I can turn the motor over easy. Alright. So that's all on there with blows. The wires right gets tight in there, but it's be fine. Alright, now I gotta get a hit up on this thing. We're gonna put the nitrous on it. Probably put the nitrous stuff on next. It's easier to do all this right now before I put all this up on here. When you put the carb out here, it gets in the way, so. Put the nitrous on it. That's that rat nest down there in the corner. All right, we'll be back. <clears throat> 